Hey there, welcome back to The Sims Resource. Today I'm going to be finishing up a ski cabin build that I started earlier this month. Um, yeah, funny enough, it took me like several hours actually to finish this build in whole and it took me, I don't know, it took me so much longer than I thought it was. Maybe because I haven't built a whole lot in a while, but man, it was a real challenge and even just finishing furnishing it took me another hour and a half, so this is a very sped up version of that. Um, I finally found a dining table I liked. If you watched the last part, then you'll know that I spent most of it pondering over the dining table, and I just went, I ended up going with a round one because I thought it would be a nicer fit, and it actually fits really nicely in this little nook over here. I don't know if your sims can actually route to sit at all the spots at the table, but I'm also a little bit past caring if your sims can route to sit there. At this point, I think I really just wanted everything to be uh, looking nice and maybe not usable. But there are lots of other places for them to sit, so don't worry. Um, I also added some CC pillows to the couch. CC pillows are like one of my favorite places to dress up a basic couch in this game because a lot of the couches either don't have pillows or they have pillows that don't quite match the rest of the aesthetic. And so CC pillows are the way to kind of spruce them up without having to do much else. Now I'm just working on a fireplace. Um, I really thought on this for a while. Actually, as you can see, I think I left my computer up and running while I had to go switch my laundry over to the dryer, so... <laughs> Bear with me during this pause. But, um, yeah, as you can see, there's all these different types of fireplace, and I wasn't really sure what kind I wanted to do. As you can see, there's, like, an archway to the right, and I wasn't quite sure if I wanted something that jut out really far, because there's only about a half tile between the wall and the archway, and I thought anything that would take up a full tile would be kind of bumping out too far and would kind of mess with the flow of the room so I ended up going with something with a much like smaller uh, sleeker profile though it also has some old-timey vibes um it's actually like an older it's a it's an older stove model uh, yep there we go there we go um I yeah I went with the stove model it actually reminds me my grandmother had one like this though it was actually much bigger and much older um it was like an ancient like stove probably from the early 1900s and it keeps her whole house warm like it's that powerful and I kind of wanted to pay tribute to that, so yeah, I went with the stove and I also went with this little CC bundle of uh, sticks and logs to burn. It took me a while to find chairs that I liked too. I ended up settling on these dark like maroon chairs. I, I wanted red ones originally, but they looked a little bit too bright and it was a little bit too much for the space. Um, and here I'm just looking for a bookshelf. I'll tell you, some of the Sims bookshelves, like especially the ones that come with the game, just look like very cartoony and a little bit like weird in some of my builds that like the rest of the furniture in The Sims doesn't look too, too cartoony, but some of these bookshelves really like give a cartoony look. I spent forever even like looking for things to put on these shelves, but a lot of them weren't routing correctly. So I ended up going for a different bookshelf entirely and the search just began again. Why wouldn't it? Of course. And yeah, I ended up going with this one. Um, there's actually no slots for accessories, and I was gonna try to like move one with bb.move objects, but then I was like, eh, it's fine. It wasn't that important. Um, and then I ended up putting a desk here. I put desks in all my Sims living rooms. I don't know about you guys, I just love having the opportunity to like sit down and work somewhere if I'd like to, as someone who uh, works from home. I don't always like sitting at my desk and or at the couch. I like having as many options as possible, and I've really considered getting another chair or a little mini desk for the place just so I have other places to sit. <laughs> Listen, uh, it is a very specific struggle, but it is my struggle. Anyway, here I am just looking for some art to put up here. I have a lot of CC art and sometimes it's actually hard for me to go through all of it and like see what fits best, but I found that piece of art and I liked it a lot, so I put it up. And then I'm also hiding a plant right behind this chair. If there's an empty spot like that, I like to try to put a plant in because I think they just look really nice. What can I say? This room actually ended up being such a weird shape. Like, it is... I don't know. I originally intended for that to be the living room, and so I thought that window seat could be a really cute spot. And then I wanted to add a bedroom. It's a... I don't know. I don't know about this. I think in my floor planning skills, this was kind of a fail. But honestly, I'm not that mad about it. I think it turned out fine, and it's functional, thank God. So that's all that really matters, is that I can, like, have Sims use it and not walk around doing their little like head shaking dance they do when they can't route to an object so crisis averted there at least and then yeah it took me forever to find a dresser i don't really know what my deal was but i just i i don't know i i tried to put a window seat there in the first part of this i don't know if you saw that but if you did um the window seats in the sims are kind of meant for like single uh 
I'm trying to think of the word. Like, okay, so there's like the, the tilted diagonal wall, the straight wall, and then another tilted diagonal wall. They're meant for that. And this has two straight walls with diagonal walls. And so they didn't fit. It looks kind of silly. And I just kind of gave up on that. And I decided to just go with a dresser there because it didn't look right otherwise. I spent a long time thinking about wallpapers too. I usually like to do wallpapers last because I think that putting a wallpaper first can be overwhelming for me when I build. And so I really was debating like, what is the right thing to do? What is the wrong thing to do? Um, yeah, all these pauses, I meant to edit them out, but actually I, I ended up leaving them in because there's a story behind them. Um, yeah, so the laundry in my building, I like went, I put my laundry in the wash, you know, as, as one does, left. And then when I came back, my clothes were um, just in a, in, a, in a pool of water. Like the washer was full of water, it was beeping. And I guess it had like broken like midway through the wash. So that was really upsetting to come and encounter. So once I discovered that, I was like, oh no, oh God. So I put it in another washer and like let, it, let, let that run. And I thought maybe like the spin cycle on that would like help kind of rinse everything out. Spoiler alert. It helped a little bit, but the, it, everything was still really wet. It just, the poor washer didn't stand a chance. So then I put them in the dryer for two cycles of drying, and I didn't really think it was gonna do that much either. And I was right because so the dryers can only really like dry, like kind of damp clothes, but they can't do anything about soaking wet. And they were soaking wet when I put them in, so I wasn't expecting a lot, and I was right not to expect a lot because it was a mess. Um, and now I just have like stuff hanging all over my place because I'm trying to get it to dry via the air and I don't know I'm just hoping that maybe it's dry enough tomorrow that I can take most of it and like just put it through a dry cycle not even because I want to like pay for it because I don't and I've already spent how much money on washer and dryer cycles so far but I just don't want to have to like live like kind of crawling around all the damp things that I own also because it just makes you know makes the whole place smell kind of musty from the wetness so that's my laundry saga of the day. Um, here I am. I'm trying to look for something for this wall. I find that like areas like this are really hard for me um, in interior design, in real life, and also in the game. Because like obviously you don't want to put like furniture there because the door is right there, but you also don't want to leave it completely blank. So I ended up putting up a big mirror, and I think that it adds a layer of functionality while also looking kind of nice. And I went with this little mini bookshelf over here, and I just wanted to put some knickknacks on there. It's like a rental space, but. You know, just like having a like basket of extra towels and some other stuff. I think some books. Yeah. And then here I am decorating the upstairs bathroom. I just ended up taking the color scheme from the downstairs bathroom. I don't know about you guys, but when I make Sims bathrooms, I'm not usually like putting that much thought into it. At least in terms of like, oh, like it has to be this and there has to be room for clutter. I usually like to kind of give every bathroom in the house a similar look and it just makes it easier for me. Um, yep, here I am just putting in some sinks and a mirror over the bathtub. And yeah, it's like, it's not the, it's kind of a weird layout, but I think it works and it has a bathtub and a shower. So there you go. I mean, it's pretty good. And now I'm just moving on to landscaping. This is my pro tip. Yeah, um, use the tiles to kind of help clean up your lines when you're using the spray thing. However, I'm, I'm going to warn you that the tiles don't completely get uh, pr protect you from spraying over the lines. They just sort of help. And so, yeah, you will have to maybe go in and clean them up after the fact. So just a warning. Be careful. But, you know, it can always be undone. Though I will say I've never been able to figure out what the exact shade of grass is that the like default lots are in most of the world. Every, um, all the grass colors, like when I use the spray is always like too bright or too dark, or you'll see me in a little bit. So that's a sim secret I've never been privy to. I don't really know what's going on there, but I don't know. As you can see, yeah, there's a little bit going over the lines back here and all the grass colors are just a little bit off, but eh, you know, I also, this is a really good, uh, tip for making your builds look more realistic. Add dirt underneath, um, all of your plants because you know most plants do have dirt near them and I think it just makes the lots look a little better so yeah as you can see just cleaned up the patio area and just adding some patio furniture this is meant to be like a ski cabin but you know like um it does get warm in the summer so I like to have some outdoor areas plus you know like a little fire pit to hang out at just so you know even if it's cold out or you know when it's starting to get cold out you have somewhere nice to sit that's kind of cozy and chill and also a hot tub because I don't know about you guys if you've ever been in a hot tub in a really cold like winter day it is surprisingly nice I don't know something about like the cold and then getting in the hot is like 
soothing. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but I really enjoy it. And I've also seen that a lot of ski houses actually have hot tubs or access to hot tubs. So that's why I put one in. It took me forever to figure out the layout of this backyard. Um, I don't know. Something about the patio was really like, it was just hard for me. The like L shape and like the two sided stairs were really making it hard for me to like organize it without feeling like it was kind of weird and like not quite right. But I eventually settled on it and I think it looks pretty nice. And now I'm just putting in some trees and adding some dirt under them, obviously. And then adding some fencing to the front of the lot. And here are the screenshots. I hope you like the build. I'm really happy with it. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.